and welcome to The Late Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Right... Right, right up the top of the show, I just want to say everybody on the southeast coastline, North Carolina, Virginia, my home state of South Carolina, Hurricane Florence is coming your way. This is serious. Get out of there or prepare for the worst. Do not underestimate the power of this storm. Today, President Trump gave a briefing about the government's plan for Hurricane Florence, and he showed off his grasp of the details. They haven't seen anything like what's coming at us in uh, 25, 30 years, maybe ever. It's tremendously big and tremendously wet. It's true. It's true. Yeah, that's how it are. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's tremendously big and tremendously wet, which also describes the bed he ordered in Moscow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Marshall. Now, uh, sensing the seriousness of the occasion, Trump respectfully didn't make the whole thing about himself for almost a minute. <laughs> then he reminded everybody what a great job he did with the last hurricane. I think that Puerto Rico was an incredible, unsung success. He's right. It was definitely unsung. Maybe because no one could plug in their mics because it took 11 months to restore power. So you know what? Let's sing it now. You totally sucked. Take your paper towels and cram them. <laughs> now, it's a hint. Nice tone. I started to cry. Thank you very much. Now, if you're in Washington, D.C., there is another serious weather event headed your way. And I'll tell you all about it in tonight's Stormy Watch. <laughs> the Stormy Saga has been on pause for a while because Michael Cohen is attending to some personal business of pleading guilty to a felony. But now it's back in the news because President Trump and Michael Cohen have asked courts to rescind their hush agreement with Stormy Daniels, and they're demanding the return of Stormy's $130,000. And while they're at it, is it possible to have Stormy unspank him? <laughs> I got that image right up here. <laughs> of course, Michael Cohen no longer represents the president, which is why Trump's motion was filed by the president's new attorney, Charles Harder. <laughs> really? Charles Harder? Does everyone in this case have a porn name? <laughs> I... Personally, personally, mm -hmm. I look forward to the ruling by Judge Peter Johnson Thundergavel. <laughs> <laughs> Native American name, Thundergavel. Mm -hmm. Harder says that much like a rolled-up Forbes magazine, Trump wants to put this behind him. Writing in a letter to the court that Trump promised not to seek to enforce any terms of the settlement agreement with Stormy. In other words, Trump just wants to wrap this thing up. Something he didn't do when he slept with Stormy Daniels. <laughs> He's hoping this can happen in a way that'll satisfy all parties. Something else he also didn't do when he slept with Stormy Daniels. <laughs> that was, uh... 